Netflix's Requiem is a bone-chilling new series, a streaming service acquired from the BBC that blends psychological horror with a cold case twist. Hi everyone, I'm David Griffin, and here's what I thought of Requiem. Requiem begins with professional cellist Matilda Gray witnessing her mother's horrific suicide firsthand. Traumatized by the event, Matilda searches for clues that might help her understand why her mom would choose to end her own life. During her investigation, Matilda uncovers evidence that could link her mother to a 20-year-old unsolved missing persons case involving an infant girl named Karis. This leads Matilda and her friend Hal on a journey away from the bustling streets of London to the Welsh countryside in search of answers. And this is where the story gets weird, in a good way. Requiem excels at creating intense moments of dread that seem to go on forever. In many ways, the series is reminiscent of the 2015 film The Witch, where there is an unknown terror lurking in the shadows, but you rarely see it. The creepy old house in Wales that Matilda and Hal stay in is full of tight corners, empty rooms, and enough creaks and cracks to convince most people to run for the hills. But this is a horror series after all, so Matilda and Hal are staying put. The way the camera slowly moves through the hallways makes the estate feel bigger and more threatening and creates a fantastic atmosphere. The music also plays a key role in developing the menacing mood. The creators decided to use Matilda's favorite instrument, a cello, throughout most of the score, which always keeps the danger close by taking advantage of its slow, sad tones. When Matilda isn't being scared out of her mind at the house, she does her best Sherlock Holmes to get to the bottom of what happened to the infant Karis. The whodunit aspects of the show are compelling as it reveals Penn Linus to be similar to Twin Peaks, where mysteries abound and everybody knows more than they are revealing. While the strange town approach is nothing new, Requiem elevates itself with some stirring performances from its leading cast. Lydia Wilson's portrayal of Matilda is harrowing as she battles more than just the terror lurking in the mansion, but also the grief of losing her mother in such a traumatic way. Sometimes it feels like the horror genre doesn't focus enough on what loss can do to a person and is more concerned with moving on to the next big scare. But the first episode gives Matilda adequate time to mourn, leading to an intense scene of sobbing that's unsettling to watch. It's easy to forget that Wilson is acting. Karis' mom, Rose, is another standout character. Claire Rushbrook does an excellent job of conveying her sadness as she's forced to relive the day her daughter disappeared as Matilda and Hal question her. But like most of the town's inhabitants, it's difficult to know for sure if she's telling the truth. The writers do a solid job of making you doubt everyone you encounter, which adds another layer to the mystery. In the end, you only have Matilda's point of view to go by, and even she begins to doubt her sanity. Requiem is a tense psychological horror series that is sure to satisfy any fan of the genre. If you're looking for the next Jason Voorhees or Freddy Krueger, you'll have to look elsewhere, as this series focuses on a terror that's much more cerebral and unknown. Is Matilda simply losing her mind, or is there a real threat that needs to be dealt with? US streamers can check out all six episodes at your own risk on March 23rd. Thanks for watching. For more on what's happening in the streaming world, check out our reviews of Jessica Jones Season 2 and Mute, and be sure to like and subscribe to IGN everywhere you like to watch.